Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. God with us. This is really God's heart toward people. From the beginning, God put the first man and woman in a special garden so that he could be with them. God asked Moses to construct a tent in the desert just so he could be with them. God asked Solomon to build a temple in Jerusalem just so he could be with them. And God sent Jesus into the world just so he could be with us. It's not surprising that the angel said, his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. God right where we are. What does that really mean? How is that truly to be translated? Well, one of the things it means is this. It means you're favored. When the angel addressed Mary, he said, you're highly favored and the Lord is with you. And she discovered in that moment some amazing things. One of the things she discovered was, God knows me personally. This great and mighty God knows the little things. He knows me. He knows the details. She also learned in that moment that God has a special plan. He has a purposed, filled life for her and for you and I. And she also learned, as we learn, that God is poised to step into my situation, into my life, and work in my life to answer the deepest cry of my heart. Everyone has a cry. Everyone has a longing. Everyone has a hunger and a thirst. Everyone longs for Jesus, whether they know it or not. Everyone longs for meaning. So the angel was right. He is with you. He's with you here. He's very near right now. So the first thing we know is you're favored. Secondly, God with us, it means you're forgiven. God is absolutely committed to get to me. That's nothing but love. And history has proven it. It took absolute perfect planning to make it happen. To get to me, he had to deal with my sin. And Jesus came to obliterate the wall of sin and separation between the Father and his creation. Why? Because you can't have relationship where there are walls. His life, his death, and his resurrection secured that for me. When he said, Father, forgive them, the wall was torn down. And his complete and utter and total forgiveness rushed in. Think of it. Everything covered. Everything cleansed. Everything counted as being right. God has done everything to facilitate relationship with himself. Jesus said, I am the way. And finally, God with us, it means you're free. You're free to make the choice, to make the decision, to experience the true meaning of Christmas. The true message of Christmas is that just as Jesus was birthed on earth and born into the world as Lord and King, as necessary and as real as that was, so Jesus must also be birthed and born in you. He once told a man, you must be born again. God is with us so that he can be in us. It is an amazing thought that the Lord of heaven and earth could possibly take up residence in my life. King Solomon couldn't comprehend how God could inhabit a grand and glorious building like the temple that he had built. This is the most significant life choice you will ever make. To choose not to receive him is to reject him. 
and in God's eyes, that is a heartbreaking decision. God bless you during this amazing Christmas season.